Hey guys, hope everyone's day is going well. Today, I've got with me the newest release from G-Way Throws. This right here is the Daredevil, and it's an awesome monometal throw from them. I'm super excited to talk about this yo-yo, so without any further ado, let's jump right in. As usual, I want to thank G-Way Throws for actually sending me this yo-yo and making this entire video possible. The owner of the company, Emmanuel, actually hit me up and asked if I wanted to do a review on it. Of course, I said yes, so here we are. Thank you, G-Way Throws. All the links and contact information will be in the description down below, so be sure to check those out at the end of this video. But without any further ado, let's get a baseline idea as to what this yo-yo is all about with the specs of the yo-yo, which I'm going to show right here. So first, I want to give a little bit of background on the yo-yo. This yo-yo has actually been in development for about six months, with the goal of having a high-performance yo-yo that is also still fun to play with. And we'll see later in the video if this yo-yo actually meets the goal. This is actually supposed to be a kind of daring and unique yo-yo that's trying something different, hence the name Daredevil. Now, let's just take a look at the specs here. So the specs are definitely a little bit more interesting and kind of irregular. We've got a much smaller diameter, which makes this yo-yo actually an undersized throw. The width itself is pretty standard, but the weight is very light, coming in at just 62.32 grams. The material that is used with this yo-yo is actually 7068 aluminum, which is a premium grade of aluminum. Love to see that in a yo-yo. And the bearing is actually a D-sized bearing, which is smaller than your standard C-sized bearing you normally see in yo-yos. They actually decided to use a bearing for a higher starting spin once the yo-yo is thrown. That's super interesting. And I actually got that information from the owner himself, Emmanuel, but essentially they're using the smaller bearing to get a higher starting spin once you throw the yo-yo. Very interesting design choice. Now let's dive into the actual design of the throw. So the shape, design, and appearance is really nice and actually pretty unique. The shape is this nice curvy H shape. It's got a really beefy, nicely rounded rim with a nice and wide gap as well. As I mentioned before, this is definitely an undersized yo and it fits in your hand very nicely. The body of this yo has a nice smooth matte finish and as you can see there, they have the Daredevil logo which looks sick engraved in the rim. Overall, this is a great shape and it's definitely more of a competition focused one but it is also a little bit more on the narrow side. That's something to note. The color of this yo is also sweet. I wanted to point that out. I'm really happy with how this pink finish looks. It's super bright and very noticeable and just in general looks awesome. The cup has a pretty wild design. There are all these numerous cuts that lead down to actually a spike in the center. This type of cup is actually pretty reminiscent of the turntable, if you guys know that yo-yo, with all those different cuts in the cup. Obviously not as many and not as extreme, but definitely reminiscent. It's also worth mentioning that this yo-yo has actually a polished finish on the cup. So as you can see, the yo-yo has a more shiny, kind of glossy finish on the cup and the blasted finish on the actual body of the yo-yo. Very interesting choice, but it, it looks nice. The spike is actually a really nice addition because it's gonna add some more center weight to the yo, and it also allows you to do matador tricks, which I'm going to explain more about later in the video. So how does the Daredevil actually play? Although statistically this yo is pretty light, this yo does not play light at all. I would almost go as far as to say that this yo is a bit of a reluctant mover, and I think that's the result of the D bearing and kind of the weight distribution and design of the yo. This yo definitely has a lot of power, there's no doubting that. When you first throw it down, you can tell it has a ton of great stability and really has a ton of momentum when you're playing with it. The yo also spins very fast, and like I said before with the D bearing, it's gonna allow the yo to spin super fast right when it whips off your hand. I'd say that since this yo is a little bit on the undersides and kind of more narrow in the shape, it is a little bit more challenging to hit some of your tricks. I feel like if I were to play with this yo for a ton and a ton of time, I could get used to the undersized feel, but for me right now, it kind of was a little bit more difficult to hit some of my normal tricks, just because of the smaller design. Binds with this yo were actually quite good. The response system and standard pans definitely do work. I personally used some kitty normal string, and in the beginning there was some snagging, the yo kind of broke it in and it felt great. But in general, this throw is pretty fun. It's definitely comfortable to play with and feels really satisfying. Now, going back to the company's goal of this yo, I'd say that they definitely hit the nail on the head with the fun ass of the yo. But as for performance, I'd say it's just okay. The shape of this yo makes it feel very unique, but for some reason, speed tricks and horizontal, it's just not the greatest for those. Now, as for grinds, this yo is decent. Finger and palm grinds are really good because there is a smooth matte finish on the body. However, I wouldn't really recommend doing finger spins or thumb grinds or talon grinds with this yo because the finish is polished and it's kind of more sticky. Additionally, since there is a spike in the dead middle of this yo-yo, you can do these matador tricks, as you can see here, which is awesome. It gives you the ability to actually grab the yo-yo while it's spinning and do some fun tricks like that. All right, so in conclusion, this is a really fun yo-yo. It definitely is decent at performance and it spins for a really nice long time, but I wouldn't say it's quite competition-based because it's not great for speed or horizontal tricks. And it's also undersized, which I personally found made it a little bit harder to hit some of my tricks. However, I was still really impressed with this yo-yo and I'm excited to see what they come out with next. All right, that's about it for my review of the Daredevil. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Also, if you guys are new here and haven't seen my videos before, hit that subscribe button so you can know when I ever post a new video. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.